you're always hearing people saying, we need more art in Roseburg and we need more murals downtown, you know, all these other cities are doing it, why not Roseburg? And I think that's just something that we eventually were able to tackle. It was a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, it was actually a pretty cool process, you know, Courtney uh, did a lot of spearheading of starting that communication with the artists, but in working with them, you know, we're creatives ourselves and I'm not going to speak for everyone, but I personally, you, you do your best work when someone allows you to be who you are and bring your style into it. And so that's what we wanted to do with these artists. We didn't want to pigeonhole and stranglehold them to, hey, you got to make something that looks like A, B, and C. They bring their own energy and enthusiasm to the process, which is kind of infectious, actually. Um, and you can see and like feel that energy throughout the work itself. Yeah. There was this one dude who was like, what are you doing? Oh, that looks badass. You know, he was getting really <laughs> yell at me and then he was just like, oh, dude, that looks cool. Oh, you know? good. So that was awesome. That's yeah, good. it's been nothing but positive feedback good. from this. Um, from any, everyone, yeah. you know, yeah. whether they're the, you know, the homeless dudes or the dudes <laughs> going to work, it's been, and that's the beauty of oh, having wow. uh, a mural displayed. It's mm -hmm. universal, you know, you don't have to pay to get in yeah. and it's free. You can admire it, whether you are uh, established or not, you know, yeah. we can all appreciate something on the wall. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'm stoked to be here and do that. I kind of need to be like physically engaged with what I'm doing. Um, I don't know, there's just something about sitting in a studio all day that's just not really uh, mentally like gratifying for me to just kind of feel cooped up and isolated. So, um, so yeah, like moving my body, being outside, um, talking to people that are a part of the community, uh, leaving something that's accessible for everybody that kind of just makes the work feel more meaningful to me than like a canvas or something that's just going to sit in an art gallery or in somebody's house not that i don't love doing that occasionally too but i think painting public art will just always be what i'm most passionate about everyone's been really supportive and enthusiastic and uh and yeah, we've met a handful of really cool people that have stopped and uh, told us what they like about the design and asked us questions about what we're doing and some of which are artists themselves and they'd show us some of their artwork and uh, tell us a little bit about their creative process and I don't know, the vibe's just been really positive and, and, uh, and encouraging. Personally, this, this means a lot. You know, Roseburg is my hometown and when I moved back here from college, I, I actually started working at the Art Center and it was actually a really huge deal. It was, it was something that we were always talking about, like how do we get art directly into the lives of people in Roseburg? You know, how do we meet them where they are and make art a part of their everyday lives? And we were always talking about murals and it, it was just kind of a foregone conclusion that it would happen at some point. Um, years later you know i kind of lost sight of that goal and to be able to do that with experience roseburg and with the city of roseburg and just to improve the downtown area and make it more inviting is kind of a dream come true it's definitely something i've wanted to do since i moved back here what i think these murals are or at least what we're hoping they do is it brings more attention to the downtown and helps to start beautifying it um, and bring the arts into our community because I think we do have a growing population of creatives and artists that are coming here and finding the beauty in the places like the outdoors and we're trying to bring that beauty into the downtown and kind of uh, mirror that whether you're you know up the 138 going to Crater Lake hanging on the river or walking downtown we want you to be able to experience that beauty and see that beauty wherever you're at. I mean, that's one of the things that people travel for, right? Like the sightseeing, the visuals. And so, uh, and Roseburg has that in spades. We have, you know, mountains and rivers and, and certainly murals have done that for a long time and having, um, you know, large art displayed around town that you can walk to and see at your own you know, leisure. You know, one of the nice things about this project happening when it is, is that we have 
Roseburg's 150th, you know, anniversary coming up, and so having uh, uh, these kind of projects happen at the same time is really great because it, it, it's revitalizing the, the community at the same time where we're kind of trying to come together and remember what Roseburg is, celebrate where we're at now, and kind of look toward the future. The way this turned out is just absolutely beautiful, completely just, you know, expresses just the, the gorgeous nature of the Umpqua Valley and uh, we're very, very proud of it. We hope a lot of people come down and see this mural and then I don't know how many other ones are going up, but I know that there's going to be one on North 40. I think uh, Old Soul is in the process of potentially getting one too. So we're looking forward to it. Beautify downtown and get people down here.